Hi, my name's Abby. I work for Escape in all things wellbeing. I'm new to mandalas and I'm a brand new spiralizer. I started it um, from some of the Escape videos in lockdown and I found it really mindful and calming. And it really just gives me the space to think. It gives me time to really think about, you know, different things and work things through in my life. And as we're coming up to International Friendship Day, it's really made me think about friendship and the sort of journey that I've been on with friendship through my life. I've had so many different types of friends and different sort of um, different levels of friendship through my life. And I didn't until recently think about this, how important friends have been to me and how much little time we spend on it if you have a partner or you're married there's there's counseling there's like couples counseling or marriage guidance counseling if things are not working out but with friendship there is no such thing there's no sort of couples counseling for friendship there's no blueprint for friendship there's no rules of friendship we're not really taught about friendship and yet it enriches our lives so enormously when I was younger, I remember getting my really my best friend when I was seven. She joined the class and she wrote with her left hand and her handwriting was messy. So the teacher put her beside me and said that I she could copy my handwriting and it would help neaten it up. And she became my very best friend in only the way a child can really have a best friend, I think, where it's so innocent and it's so all and everything you know she was like my partner in crime she's who I cried to when I didn't do well in exams she's who I plotted parties with um you know she was who I, I went to with with everything she was my everything at that stage and I do sometimes wonder if that was my that was probably my earliest memories of what it was to be in a really close relationship and and what that meant and how that worked for me. And I was really lucky to have a best friend throughout school and I was really lucky to have that security. And as I grew up, I, I had different friendships. So when I went to university, I lived with people and I had no idea how to live with people that weren't my family and what to do if they didn't take their share of the washing up or the cleaning or they didn't put the money in the kitty for things like toilet roll and shampoo. I didn't really know how to handle those kind of things in friendships. So it was all very all or nothing. I was either their friend or I didn't speak to them. And it was all quite sort of still quite childish you know ways of of friendship and then as I moved on I had children and I became friends with the mums at the school gate and they perhaps weren't the kind of people I picked for their personalities or their hobbies or what we had in common well what we had in common was that their child liked my child and it was somebody to hang about the park with or come back for a coffee with and it's not to say I haven't made some really nice friends in that time but they were picked for different reasons so why do we have friends? You know, why are friends so important? And I was been thinking about this with the while I was doing my mandala. And for me, friends are fun. Firstly, uh, you know, I can laugh with some of my friends in a way that I would never really laugh with anybody else. You know, this sort of common ground we've got of, of being a mum and being, um, you know, having a family and having husbands and um, all those things that, that just we can see the ridiculous in and we can really laugh. And I, I look forward to that so much. I've got a friend now who I just love and we have escape days where we just laugh and eat and laugh and eat and sometimes read and we love it. I think it's also, to me, it mirrors who I am. So if I was just to listen to that little voice in my head, it's quite a critical voice some of the time. And so I need somebody else to tell me what I'm like, to say, oh, you know, you're so kind or you're really funny or you really make me laugh or I can't believe how many books you read. And so that helps me get a better handle, a more rounded handle on who I am as a person and where I am in society and also what society is like. So if I'm really struggling with my teenager and there's no one else to talk to about it, then to me it's all encompassing, it becomes enormous. Whereas if I've got a friend who's also going through something similar, 
then it means that I, you know, I feel a bit more, a bit less alone. And they're giving me their viewpoint. They enrich my lives. They bring their hobbies, their philosophies, their views, their ideas of family to my life. And it enriches my life. I, I learn so much from my friends, which I love. They're there as support. When I'm having a difficult time, I've got three particular friends I message and I say, I'm having a really tough time at the moment. I might not be able to ask you for help, but could you check in on me? And that has made the most enormous difference and it's made me feel so strong. I don't know if anybody reads Harry Potter, but I think of my friendships as like horcruxes where I put bits of myself. So I put a lots and lots of myself into my friendships. And sometimes when things are tough, I have to take a little bit back. So I have to sort of take back some of the time and the effort and the kindness and the thoughtfulness that I've put in. So their support is just so important to me. And as families are becoming more fractured, I feel that friends are taking some of those places, especially, you know, when families are not living so close by and we're not living in communities so much anymore. My friends are so important to me. And especially during this time in lockdown, it has been so it's meant so much to me to open up WhatsApp and there's a funny video or there's a picture of somebody's cake or their dinner or, or um, you know, or their garden and the vegetables they've grown. To me, that's helped me feel connected. It's it stopped me from sort of free floating through this really difficult time. So I hope that you can do these, you know, some of this drawing, some of these spirals and really think about the journey your life's gone on with friends and in friendship and which friends you've kept and which friends have been your friends for a period of time. Because like anything else, things have a beginning, a middle and an end. Some friends we keep for life if we're really lucky. Other friends will have for that period of time. And, and, you know, maybe we've changed or they've changed or, you know, they've moved away and that's OK. But I think to for me, friendships give me so much that I'm really starting to think about how much I want to put in, how much I want to give back to maintain those friendships and to keep them in my life.